Roger Federer has come out to say that he may retire at Wimbledon on the same day that Andy Murray has announced that he will retire after this summer's Grand Slam on home soil. Swiss star Federer admits that he is unsure when he will leave the sport, but he wants to do it on his own terms. Federer has won 20 Grand Slam singles titles over his career but is looking to bring down the curtain on his illustrious career at the All England Club. Federer's main rival Murray has made plans to retire after Wimbledon this summer with injuries forcing him not to play in many matches throughout the past year. Federer's future is also up for debate. The 37-year-old Swiss star is currently preparing for the Australian Open as he bids to win in Melbourne for the seventh time, and says he is not ready to put down the racket just yet. But in an interview with ESPN, he does concede he is having thoughts about quitting, and where he would like to bow out. Federer said, I've been thinking about it, like where is that place but I think it will all come down to, is it the body, is it the family, is it the mind, is it a morning when I wake up, Federer also said, how does it happen? Maybe that day that it happens, maybe that is the end, maybe I'll say I can get a few more tournaments in me and maybe there is one tournament that is way too far and you just can't make it there. The one thing Stefan Edberg said is don't announce it at the beginning of the season, it is not the thing to do so I will not do that. Wimbledon stands out as maybe a place but there are many others, former world number one Murray is being forced out with a hip problem and a body racked with pain, and Federer is desperate to go out on his own terms. Federer also added, I think finishing healthy. I hope it doesn't end with an injury, I had a little bit of that threat a few years ago when I had the knee issue and I was able to come back again so I would like to go out on my terms. I don't have the fairy tale ending in my head saying it has to be another title somewhere and then I have to announce it big, I don't have to have it that way. I think there is expectation from the media it all has to end so perfectly. I've given up on that a long time ago. As long as I'm healthy and I'm enjoying myself, I know it's going to be emotional anyway. It should be a happy celebration day, not like a sad funeral type of day. It would be a sad day when Federer does finally retire from the sport. Let's hope Murray and Federer win again before they both bring their careers to a close.